Okay. Wait. Now this is getting stranger. But in his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Head to the opposite door and got back on track. Now I will enter the elevator. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. Hmm. The whole story completely unusable. However, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just hmm. restart the game from no, the No, 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 no. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. No, no. From the top. Mm. When Stanley... Door. Wait. Wait, what? 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 No. Okay, yep. Yeah, it's worse. I might be remembering what? this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why you win! Congratulations! <laughs> I knew you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Just follow the line. How simple is that? You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. What? What? There is something wrong. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I'm going through circles. I I've came back. The this is what. Is he seriously going to keep this music? What's wrong? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. The lines are seriously getting complicated. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you can't do this anymore to hell with it. Reason for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. How's it going, bros? My name is Ferris Amin, and today we're going to play the Stanley Parable. Yes, I know, there is a camera. That is fantastic. First things first. The camera... I think this deserves a like, really. The camera might reflect my eyes, I really don't know. I know it's not that great camera, so it really doesn't sync everything. And for that red thing that I'm talking into, it's the microphone. Uh, it's a dynamic one, so I actually have to do like blah 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 like this so that I can talk. Okay. Um, so, okay. Listen, this game, we know that we get frustrated a lot in it, and there are a lot of funny stuff happening. Okay. And there is a big surprise. Just. Wish that it happens, bros. Wish that it happens. Because this will be f lucky for me and for you. Okay? So, without further ado, let's continue the game. So, just I want to make sure that the, the, the subtitles are on. Because some games reset. Okay, so this is where we exactly stopped. Let's continue. <laughs> I know the camera when I move so fast it's like freezing a bit. But this is my best. Okay. Wait. What the hell? Oh, it's loading. Okay. Hmm. Is it a bit laggy or a. Hmm, I don't know. What's this? Hmm. The confusion hmm. ending? The confusion ending? You're telling me that's what this is? Hmm. It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? 
That's really how all this goes? It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I mm. don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this, this thing. <laughs> all. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? Hmm. No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't yes, do it. Yes, I don't won't restart. do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Has the timer stopped? Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um, whatever it is that made this schedule. How would we even What's know? happened? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? Please don't scare me. So, okay. So, I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way <laughs> that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination mm. or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Eventually. Well, in the meantime... What the? It restarted! That's an end. Upstairs to his boss's office. Bye. So there is still a way to break the rules. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post <laughs> during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred That's correct. to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. No! All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made Wait, any I'm not crazy. sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, Wait. this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! He yelled. Really? This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief, Honestly? Stanley felt. To have finally found hmm. an answer, an explanation. His co workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. Okay. And he thought to himself, Just I suppose second. I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy hmm. this while I'm still lucid. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. What? Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked Wait. himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating <laughs> everything that I'm doing and thinking? <laughs> now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, <laughs> thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. He and thought, he thought, thought, thought very that. Odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was not a dream. simply deceiving himself? <laughs> Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. 
Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a yes. part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He what? would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. A dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin. The press he will of the die, right? On his back. <laughs> the fresh or something will stop my this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm scared. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Hmm. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please. It's all Please. I want. I'm begging you. I want my apartment and my wife. My, and my he job. has no wife. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Oh. Everything will be fine. I am okay. He is making me sleep. Please, please. Hi! It's not a dream. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. What? Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Is he Where dying? And everything went black. What? Don't tell me that this is the end. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. What? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted Wait. by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Oh, and that's she would Stanley. Soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for mm. just a few brief moments, she considered the I strange man. He was obviously crazy. This mm. much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. <laughs> and in a certain way, seeing this I man am totally better. confused now. Then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The yes. very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. Hmm. And by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Wait, will I play with Marcella? No, no, no. This is an end. Stanley dead. Th that's, that's one great end. Wait, so I've got in mind an end. Wait, everything changed. <laughs> oh, that's great. Is the narrator gone? If he's gone, this means the confusion ending. Okay. When Stanley came to a set of two... He might find an aunt coming to a staircase. Okay. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs. Executive bathroom. Okay. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication Wait, of the, any human life. It has changed. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark hmm. secret was being held from him? But what he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. <laughs> but of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known that. <laughs> I can't. This is, this is hilarious. Just, I mean, just, he said behind his desk. 
Wait. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. <laughs> where's the where's that pin number thing? Oh, here it is. Two two eight four five. Two eight four five. Yet incredibly, by simply <laughs> pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code Are by you? sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Where? Oh, yes. Okay. We are going down. That's obvious. I know, I'm all... I'm was like moving and talking and the same time playing, moving the microphone. That's my nature. And relax. Stanley Parable review is soon coming. It's, wait. <laughs> it's coming soon. Okay. So. Yeah. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley mm. realized he felt a bit peculiar. peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest. As though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Yes, th this that's the question. would not go unanswered for long. What? What the hell is Jack? I know, I moved the camera. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind, Mind Control, Control Facility. Escape! <laughs> wow, a lot of paths. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What? Still, I will go. I mean, I've died a lot of times. Uh, sorry if the there is a background noise, there is a building behind Stanley us. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. No. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Yes. Yes. I fight death. Yay! He has died! Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then we will follow his commands. Wait. He did not die. As the machine whirred into motion, Stanley what? was inched closer and closer to his demise. He reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story. Trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. What? Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. And so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. No. No. Wait. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, oh. as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed. Wait. We will save a new save here. Every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Because the narrator's. Wait, she released? She released me. The Stanley Parable. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Well, when every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, oh. making life the same. Yes. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Yes! Oh, 
down. Punching my sets. Yes, this can is. What is this place? It's a gallery. <laughs> In the apartment sign there, I really didn't... In the previous version of Tries, leading to the apartment ending, 15 seconds to pick up, would lead to a different ending! Whoa! That is great! The cargo lift. What? Have I went through this? Okay, so this will lead to the cargo lift. <laughs> we actually have access to the one that contains the, all, the most of the endings. Okay. Okay, so... Zending model. The Zending model for initiation is the fourth version of endings. We, and we thought it was complete. We decided to abandon it and change it again shortly. What is this place? I don't know. Zending. The screenshots Zending, which was actually cut and merged plays another part of the game. Wow, great information! <laughs> zending lovers. These lovers were originally part of the Zending, and the narrator would describe what color uh, they had pulled. So, I think there is Zending. The game is now post. Excuse <laughs> me, you. What? Countdown room. An early version of the countdown room. Hmm. Monitor room elevator. For a time, the elevator manager could go up and down with the freedom to move. We abandoned the players, found it too difficult to remember what was, <laughs> what was down, and placed two endings together instead. Freedom ending. This is the freedom ending as it existed in the beta. Countdown desk. One of the desks from an early version of countdown ending. They're bringing the old Stanley Parable, okay. What other things are waiting? Boss's office. Thank <laughs> you. 